Okay, select the person out of the background. Then you're gonna do File, New. On the preset here, you're gonna go up to US Paper, and that way it will give you inches. Um, your resolution will be 300. We're gonna change this to eight by 10, or you can change yours 10 by eight, depending on if you want your canvas to be landscape or portrait. Your color mode is gonna be CMYK, and then you'll hit OK. Now, you want to Apple C, copy your person, and then Apple V to paste into your new document. Some of you may, yours may be get big, some of yours may be small, uh, mine's a little small, so I'm gonna do Apple T, edit free transform, hold down my shift, and pull from my corners only to keep my image proportioned. And let's see. Okay, that looks about good. Now, I am gonna go over to my foliage picture, and I am gonna do Apple A to select all. See the marching ants around my whole image? Then I'm gonna do Apple C to copy, I'm going to go over to my new document, Apple V to paste, and I'm going to duplicate that just to have a backup because we'll need that foliage picture a little bit later. I'm going to take the eye off the bottom one and I'm just going to move it down for now. Now I have this one right here that I'm working with, the one on the top. I'm going to do Apple T to make it big, and I'm going to make it fit onto my screen. Make it a little brighter here. And now, let's say I didn't want any of that blue. I just wanted the blue on the top. I'm going to hit return. You're going to take your opacity and you're going to bring your opacity down so you can see through. And then you can, being on the landscape, you can move it throughout and say, okay, I want it to be, you know, more like this or I want it to be like that. Once you've placed it where you want it, you're going to bring the opacity back up to 100, then you're going to bump down to your person layer, hold down on the apple, click inside this little square, and what it's gonna do is what it's gonna select that person. Then you go up to the layer above, your landscape layer, and we're gonna do a mask. We're gonna click this little button right here, a layer mask. And what it does is it fills in the shape of your person with the landscape. We're gonna go down underneath and we're gonna select that again, um, just so we have just the person shape selected. Then we're gonna use our brush tool. Our brush tool is right here, okay? And it works just like the stamp tool um, with the brush sizes and everything right here, the hardness you know, being up and being low. We want our hardness to be low and we're going to change our opacity to be about 50. And then we're going to come over here. Let's zoom in a little bit. And we're going to start to erase. Now what it's doing is it's only taking 50% because we changed our opacity up here to 50%. But if we took a little too much away, so let's say if we kept, kept clicking and dragging on one certain spot, and we brought the whole picture back. If you flip to white, it brings it right back. So the white brings it back, and the black takes it away. Then we're going to Apple D to deselect. We're going to take our landscape and we're going to bring it up to the top. This is our backup landscape that we had. We're gonna do Apple T and we're gonna make a background. Holding down the shift and only pulling from the corner. Now I wanna keep maybe this blue this time and get rid of the lighter blue. 
And right about there. Now we're going to go to filter. We're going to go to blur. And then we're going to go to Gaussian blur. And what we're going to do is basically we just want to have some color back there, but we don't really want to see, kind of see what it is. So anywhere between, you know, 50 and 100 is good. So say OK. Now we're going to click and we're going to drag this all the way down to the bottom. So you're clicking and holding down on your mouse and you're dragging down to the bottom. Now we're going to take the opacity and we're going to lower that a little bit. And going back up here, taking a look at it, I think I want a little bit more of the landscape to come back in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and, and select the person, go back up to my layer mask up here, and I want to flip it to white. White starts to bring back the trees a little bit. And let's see here. Mm, you go down a little bit on the percentage. Let's, I'm going to flip that. And I got a little bit of a floating image here, so I'm going to fix that. Holding down my shift, selecting both of these layers, going to my move tool, and I'm going to move that down a little bit. And that is your double exposure.